Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a super week so far. I have been running a free five-day group on Facebook this week called Run Academy. If you go to the link in my Periscope profile, you can check it out. It is a place where we have 80 plus runners together. We're talking about running. I want to share the common mistakes I see runners make when they come into my VIP Run Academy when um, and just in general when I talk to runners. I have been a runner for many years and have seen many ups and downs in my running. So it's my goal through Run Academy to teach people about running and how to do it the right way because there's a lot of misconceptions that I want to make sure we're breaking. So We've been chatting about making running plans this week, carb cycling for runners, and today we're talking about what runners should eat. Because as you know, runners need to eat carbs, right? Lots of carbs for energy, which is true. However, I think we've been taught to eat the wrong kinds of carbs and also don't do a good job of focusing on that protein, which is really essential for runners. So we're going to dive into that today. I want to talk about what carbs, proteins, and fats you should be having as a runner. So if you have friends who are runners or who are just passionate about nutrition, because these nutrition foods are really good for any people, go ahead and swipe and share with your followers and friends so we can chat about food. Again, give me some hearts if you're hearing me, if you're following what I'm saying, and go ahead and comment any questions that you have as well. So Carbs for runners. A lot of times runners, we are told that we should carb load. We should really make sure we're eating the pasta, pizza, bread. But I would argue these are definitely not your best carb sources. They're empty calories that are not really going to give you the nutrition you need to fuel your body and to heal your muscles and to become a stronger runner. So as a runner, you need to have good carbs from whole foods. Some of the best carb sources I have my runners have are sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, quinoa, fruits. Many fruits like bananas, apples, figs, and pears are all really high in carbs. Gluten-free oats. Not that that oats have gluten in them, but a lot of times they're processed in a factory that also makes flour, which can cross-contaminate. Also, um getting those beans and those chickpeas. A lot of people think that that is protein, which it is definitely protein, but it's actually very high in carbs as well. So those are really great carb sources for you as a runner. Another great vegetables you can have are broccoli, carrots, green beans. Any root vegetables are going to be really high in carbs. And fun fact, I love sharing about broccoli with my runners. Did you know that broccoli actually has more calcium than milk? A lot of us are taught that we need to have milk for strong bones. But I would argue there's a lot of other places we can get that calcium, which I will talk to you about here shortly after we chat through these other two places that we should be getting these really important nutrients from protein. As a runner, you do know focusing on carbs is really, really important, but I think we focus so heavy on carbs that we forget about the place of protein in our diets. Our muscles are continually being broken down. It's important that we supply them with the proper nutrients from protein to help from protein to help build them up and make them strong again, particularly those lean proteins. Things like chicken, turkey, I even promote grass-fed beefs and bacons as long as they're high quality and good for you. Any type of fish like salmon and tuna, bass, seafoods like crab, shrimp, scallops, oysters, lots of places to get really good protein. A lot of those are going to be high fat as well, but are very high in nutrients, which will help us out as well. I know that, you know, the protein can take more time to make cooking on the stove or pre-making it, so I typically recommend Shakeology for most of my run clients. It is equal parts protein to carbs, so it's about 16 grams of each, 16 to 18. So it's not very high in carbs and protein, but it's definitely very high in nutrition content, which runners need. We are constantly depleting our bodies by pounding out the hard miles and runs, so it's important that we are making sure we're replenishing. So something like Shakeology that's quick, that you can just mix quickly in your blender and go is a really quick way to get your protein. So we've chatted about those healthy carbs, those healthy proteins. Let's get in a little more of those healthy fats because a lot of times we think, stay away from fat, it's bad, but it's actually really good for you. 
Um, things like avocado are very high in a lot of nutrients, as, as are grass-fed butters, coconut oil, olive oil, and seeds like pumpkin and sunflower seeds, nuts, preferably the almonds, cashews, pecans, and walnuts. I love peanuts, particularly peanut butter, and I think it's appropriate to have in moderation, but just be careful because it can be an inflammatory or is typically an allergy to many people. So it's just one you have to watch a little carefully. But I'll admit I love my peanut butter, and I put it in my shake every day. <laughs> but then also make sure to get those healthy fats, the ones that are more nutrient-dense like those almonds pecans and walnuts. So all of those are really great sources of healthy fats. They're great to cook with. They're great to mix in for a snack. They're great to put in with your foods. Like for me, I love putting avocado with my breakfast. My favorite go-to breakfast that I talked to yesterday is my scrambled veggie eggs that I put potatoes and tons of vegetables in. I top it with salsa and avocado, and it is like a nutrient-packed super breakfast. So definitely give that a try. It's one of my favorites. I also would really encourage that you stay away from dairy. Uh, we've been told for a very long time that you need milk and dairy to build strong bones, but a lot of that is hidden agendas from the food companies, unfortunately. I think that they can have their place. A lot of my clients ask if they can have yogurt as an exception, and I personally see yogurt as an exception because it's so high in protein, probiotics. But as a general rule of thumb, avoiding dairy and keeping it out of your diet, I think is better. I do feel that there's better sources to get more nutrients and calcium than milk. I do also think, I know a lot of people use chocolate milk as a recovery after runs. And again, that's one I think is a little more appropriate because of the high nutrient content, specifically in chocolate milk and the high protein, which is different than regular milk. But I don't know if anyone else thinks it's weird. Um, good quality yogurt, not the ones filled with sugar, right? So we're focusing more on the Greek yogurts, and I know that you're an expert in this area, Jen, so any comments you have on specific yogurt brands would be greatly appreciated, but a lot of sugars are, or a lot of yogurts are filled with sugar, you know, like the, a lot of yo plays, unfortunately. I know there's, um, the soggy, which I used to buy, was pretty low in sugar, and also um, just high, really high in protein. So I know they're going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's a really quick way to get that high protein as well. So I just personally think it's a little weird. Trader Joe's organic European yogurt. Okay, that's good to know. And again, if you are into food, cooking healthy for your kids and family, you definitely need to follow Jen. She is truly a food expert and a meal prep expert, particularly for kids. She has a business. It's Kids Eat Veggies. Is that how it goes? I want to make sure. You can go ahead and comment that below. But she knows so much about food as well, which I love learning from her as well. But again, I think there is better sources of, you know, calcium and protein that you can get from other places aside from dairy. And my personal experience, since cutting dairy out of my diet, I feel a lot less bloated. I feel, oh, you are so sweet. Kidseatvegetables.com. That's what it was. I want to make sure I had it right. And I think you have a Facebook page too, correct? But she's awesome. And she does tons of free, awesome stuff. So check her out. Um, yes, perfect. But again, I think the main point I want to make to you is figure out what your body is what works for your body. So, you know, if you think dairy is good and it runs well in your body, I'm not telling you to cut it out, but try. Take dairy out for two weeks and see how you feel. Do you feel less bloated? Do you feel less groggy? And, you know, try, no, just take it out, but replace it with something else that's going to be that high in calcium and protein and see if you feel better. See if it helps you drop those couple pounds. A lot of times when I tell my girls, who the girls who come to my program, I just say cut out the gluten grains and literally they'll drop five pounds within a month because that the gluten and the empty calories, they chose to fill themselves with those more whole food calories. It gave them more energy. It helped them be more productive during the day. And it just all around brought more health. I know I'm a huge advocate of Whole30. I actually have the Whole30 cookbook and reference it quite a bit. And I think there's a lot of really good information in a cookbook like that. Some other blogs that I follow pretty closely are the Damn Delicious blog, Practical Paleo, Num Num Paleo, and Paleo OMG. If you can't tell, I really like paleo blogs. But I truly think that's probably one of the cleanest forms of eating, and I feel best when I eat closer to that fashion. So I typically prescribe that for most of my runners. Again, for my girls, I do do a customized approach and I work with a couple different people who have nutrition certifications who are more knowledgeable than me to make sure I'm prescribing things that are 
good for my runners and not just things that I'm making up. <laughs> so I hope you found that helpful. Again, you need to try and figure out what's best for your body. I found that when I try to maintain a gluten-free, dairy-free lifestyle, I feel a lot better, and I encourage you to give it a try as well. Focus on getting your nutrition from whole foods, making sure you're really focusing on protein as well as the carbs, and getting carbs from the whole foods as I talked about before. So I hope you found this helpful today. Again, Go ahead and join my running academy and you can tune in on the conversation. I posted a lot more information on our group page this morning where you can ask specific questions to your specific needs. I would love to have you join. Go ahead and just click the link in my Periscope profile. Join us on Run Academy and I hope that you have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in, Jen, and I hope you all have a whole food filled day. Talk to you soon. Bye.